Sound travels about 750 miles per hour. If you stand in a canyon and sound a horn, you will hear an echo. Number one, suppose it takes 3.5 seconds to hear the echo. How far away is the canyon wall in feet? Because we want the distance in feet and we're given the time in seconds, the first step is to determine the rate of 750 miles per hour in feet per second. Let's work this out below. We begin by writing the rate in fraction form, which is 750 miles per one hour. Now we multiply by unit fractions to convert miles per hour into feet per second, which means we need to convert miles to feet and hours to seconds. Let's begin by converting miles to feet. We want miles to simplify out, and therefore in the unit fraction, we must have miles in the denominator and feet in the numerator. And since one mile is equal to 5,280 feet, the first unit fraction is 5,280 feet over one mile. Notice miles simplifies out. And now we work on converting hours to seconds. We first convert hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds. We want hours to simplify out and therefore in the next unit fraction we must have hours in the numerator and minutes in the denominator. And since one hour is equal to 60 minutes, the unit fraction is one hour over 60 minutes and hours simplifies out. We now have minutes, so we now convert minutes to seconds. We want minutes to simplify out and therefore minutes must be in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. Using our conversion, the unit fraction is one minute over 60 seconds. Notice minutes simplifies out. Now that we have the correct units, we multiply by multiplying the numerators and denominators. In the numerator, we have 750 times 5,280 feet, which is 3,960,000 feet. In the denominator, we have 60 times 60 seconds, which is equal to 3,600 seconds. And now to find the unit rate, we divide, which gives us 1,100 feet per second. Now that we have the speed of sound in feet per second, we can answer number one. And again, we're asked, suppose it takes about 3.5 seconds to hear the echo, how far away is the canyon wall in feet? So we're looking for the distance from you to the canyon wall, this distance here. Now we need to be careful about this time. The 3.5 seconds is the time it takes for the sound to travel from you to the canyon wall and back. So again, the sound has to travel from you to the wall and then back before it can be heard, which means it takes half of 3.5 seconds to reach the wall and half of 3.5 seconds to travel from the wall back to you before you can hear it. And since 3.5 divided by two is equal to 1.75, it takes 1.75 seconds for the sound to travel to the wall and then 1.75 seconds to travel from the wall back to you so that you can hear the sound, which means to find the distance d, which is just one way, we use a time of 1.75 seconds, or half of 3.5 seconds, to determine the distance, or to determine how far away the canyon wall is from you. Using the formula distance equals rate times time, the distance d is equal to the rate in feet per second, which is 1,100 feet per second times the time in seconds, which is 1.75 seconds, which is equal to 1,925 feet. Which means for number one, the canyon wall is 1,925 feet away. And let's work on number two. Suppose now you stand 1,375 feet from the canyon wall and sound the horn. How long will it take to hear the echo? So going back to our diagram, 
we now need to recognize before you can hear the sound, the sound has to travel from you to the wall, which is now 1,375 feet, and then from the wall back to you, which is another 1,375 feet, before you can hear the sound. And therefore, for the formula distance equals rate times time, the total distance d is going to be two times 1,375 feet. Again, because the sound has to travel from you to the wall and then back before you can hear it. So using our formula, distance equals rate times time, the distance d is now two times 1,375 feet, which is equal to the rate of 1,100 feet per second times the unknown time, t. Two times 1,375 is equal to 2,750, giving us 2,750 is equal to 1,100t. In order to solve for t, we need to isolate t by undoing this multiplication. To do this, we divide both sides by 1,100. Simplifying, 1,100 divided by itself simplifies to one. On the right, we have one t, or just t, t is equal to the quotient on the left, 2,750 divided by 1,100 is equal to 2.5, giving us the time t is equal to 2.5 seconds. So for number two, it will take 2.5 seconds before you hear the echo if you stand 1,375 feet from the canyon wall. I hope you found this helpful.